This has been such a fun journey building our SEMA Bronco, and it's all led to this. We finally get to show you guys the upgrades in action. But first, let's take a little trip down memory lane. First, we're gonna start with the engine. Well, covering the engine at least. You need a hood on your car, that's a no-brainer unless you drive a Ultima 120 miles an hour down the Phoenix highways. We put an Anderson composite carbon fiber hood on this bad boy. It reduced a lot of weight while also giving it kind of a little bit of Raptor flare. To increase flow, we added a k and air filter um, and it really gave us an extra kick and power so we could take on all these extreme terrains. We love K&N and this upgrade actually gave us an additional 45 foot pounds of torque. We also slapped a VR tune tuning box that gave us 54 horsepower to the engine and gave us over a hundred foot pounds of torque. Now onto the really good stuff, suspension. We installed the top of the line Stage 8 Icon Sasquatch Suspension. When we talk about stages, what does that mean? Well, for Icon Suspension, there's stages one through eight. Stage one is usually more for beginners, people that are newer to off-roading, and it's not gonna break the bank. Stage four is the middle of the road where stage eight is top of the line professional grade. Icon stage one is just a more budget-friendly way to beef up your Bronco, and it's usually just gonna be coilovers. Stage four ups the antes. The parts are gonna be better and you'll have more options like coilovers with external reservoirs, premium tubular, or billet upper control arms. Now here's the real beast. Stage eight is top of the line professional suspension. Stage 8 kits cost more because they upgrade just about every major suspension component on your rig. Bigger and better springs, better energy absorption, better control for tough driving conditions, better flexibility that allows you to adjust your components to tailor your ride to the terrain. With Icon Intelligent Control, this suspension adapts each shock to read the terrain. It's basically like chat GPT under your car. With beefy billet upper control arms, they can give you insane wheel travel and articulation while maintaining a maximum amount of strength. I also want to give a shout out to Randy's Worldwides for hooking us up with all of our icon needs. Now going along with suspension, you know we got to talk about wheels. We put our VR Forge D14s on this and it looks great. The fitment we used on the Bronco is a 20 by eight and a half with no offset and a completely flush face. They look great and the best part is they clear our upgraded brake kit from bare. This big brake kit ensures that we have all the stopping power for these huge 37 inch Toyo tires so we don't go drifting into like a cactus. All right, now let's switch gears and talk about an incredibly necessary upgrade if you ever plan on off-roading or overlanding. Lights. We installed our Vivid Racing lighting bracket that came with four, yeah, four Rigid Adapt XP lights. Bright enough to light you up like the 4th of July, baby. <laughs> The lights are perfect for trail riding at dusk. We went with the amber rigid adapts, so when you or someone in front of you is kicking up all that dust, you can cut right through it and not send it off a cliff because that would be bad. Since we went with bigger tires, that third brake light needed to be moved. So we installed our VR Performance Extension Kit to fit over these big old 37s. And last but not least, we're gonna take it back to flow, baby. We installed the VR Performance Valvetronic Exhaust. The exhaust finally allows you to hear the signature EcoBoost tone because sometimes you just wanna hear this thing growl. And sometimes you don't want a Karen to get mad at you while you're just trying to go pick up some towels from Bed Bath & Beyond. So in summary, after adding an exhaust, intake, suspension, and plenty of other cosmetic mods, what did we get out of this build and was it worth it? We can confidently say this is a great vehicle. Off-road and on the streets, it can be daily driven with ease and has more than enough capability to hit the trail on the weekends. The drivability on the street is fantastic and you might look at the Bronco and think, that thing drives like a tank. That doesn't necessarily ring true here. You can comfortably navigate on the freeway and even parking lots and it's honestly impressive how not huge this Bronco feels. And most importantly, it has all the capability that you could want from an off-roading vehicle. From the suspension to the light bar, every mod was an added benefit to the off-roading experience. Even after getting a tune from VR Tune, we've had great reliability in daily driving this Bronco for well over a year now. So, was every mod worth it? 
we think so, but that depends on how much you want to invest in things like a Stage A suspension or four rigid adapt XP lights. There are definitely more budget friendly options you can take like opting for a Stage 4 suspension rather than Stage 8 or getting two rigid adapt lights instead of four. This is a very modular build that can be done in increments rather than needing to do it all at once. Overall, we are very happy with the Bronco and we highly encourage anyone if they're interested in a build like this. And if you want to learn more about the Bronco, check out this SEMA article that dives into our build as well. The link is in the description. Man, what a time we've had with this thing from buying it as a little pony to turning it into a bucking Bronco. But now it's time to send her off into greener pastures.